Hello and, and welcome to the second part of the project Trebuchet. Today, as I promised in the previous part, uh, we will take a look at the actually printed Trebuchet. Uh, it is already assembled, unfortunately, because I actually started with the project before I uh, actually decided to make videos about it. So it is already assembled. Uh, before we take a look at it, uh, we will go for just a quick look back in Creo because since the last time I made few modifications, only some minor adjustments, so we will now take a look at them and then we will take a look at the model itself. So now back to Creo. So now here is the model itself. The difference that I uh, designed from the last time is here that uh, the, this part is now uh, extended and have uh, this, this this hole. Ah, sorry, I cannot. Ah, sorry, it has this hole. I also uh, designed this pin, and this back part has now hole itself uh, itself as well. Uh, this is uh, for a simple reason. It is uh, basically a safety, so that when the trebuchet is loaded, I won't accidentally uh, fire it, or, or mainly in the process of actually loading it. So that's the first difference, and the second is, as you can see here, this well sort of uh, magazine. I decided uh, to. Uh, design something like that uh, for simple practical reasons uh, because I needed the ammunition to be stored somewhere and this uh, well I thought was the optimal way uh, I took an advantage of those holes that I have here and it will uh, snap into it and in each of these uh, well cavities I guess uh, there is one ammo so when one is pulled out it will uh, drop and it could be loaded so those are the changes that I made so, um, now I guess you are up to date with the design so we can go take a look at the model itself so this is the uh, printed trebuchet Now, as you can see, I uh, was forced to actually use a yellow rope because, believe it or not, when I was in a hardware shop, this was the only one that I was able to actually find. Now, the counterweight here uh, is filled with the um, fishing well counterweight uh, it's uh, filled with them and as you can see here and uh, it gives enough counterweight uh, for the trebuchet to actually fire now uh, we uh, will take a look at um, how it works so now I will put the put it back so now it's all So now, we'll, when I will I have the wheel on both sides, so I will use the one on my side, it's better for me. So now it's pulled down, 
but not entirely. I have to pull it all the way. Now I will take it here. Though first I have to put the sling there and then thanks to the safety that will come here. Now I have it with the safety on so it wouldn't actually fire. Now I will get rid of the pin here. And here I would load it. Once it's loaded, I will pin, put the pin out and now I can fire. After I fire, I have to take the pulling system and actually attach it back and put the pin back. Now and I can show it from a different angle okay so now it has been lowered so I will once again close it and pull the pin down now let's take a look at the at those um, well magazines. I will pull the lower one down, and now as you can see, or I hope you've seen it, the projectile uh, fall down. So yeah, I forgot to actually insert the sling. So I will insert it, now I will lock it in place and use safety. Okay, now I can unattach the pulling system. link and projectile inside now it is inside and well let's fire it from here ah sorry it's now three two one go well, I don't think that you actually saw it, but it actually fired. And I have no idea where the projectile landed. Mm -hmm. I will find it later. Uh, fortunately, in the magazines, I have quite a okay it's out so now I can put 
another one down. I think that now you have seen that the projectile appeared. Uh, it's just another uh, fishing uh, counterweight, just like the other, the one that are in the counterweight. Uh, the difference is that uh, those in the counterweight are all 15 milligrams, and this is 5 milligram. I actually am thinking about to actually switch to 10 milligrams as projectiles. I didn't try it yet. Uh, I will as soon as possible. Anyway, let's load it once again, or rather pull it down. So now when it's attached, we have to pull this. And now we can Pull everything down once again. The counterweight itself is um, uh, around uh, 400 grams, so almost uh, half a kilo. Well, between three and four. And well, and that's it. And that's it for it for the for the trebuchet actually now um, let me uh, let me uh, talk for a second about uh, the print in itself uh, the material is PLA, and um, I have to say that it was uh, very surprising and that I, uh, the way I designed it was that it will fit together like a Lego. Um, I uh, was hoping not to use um, any sort of glue. Uh, there was always, uh, sorry, there was of course um, a difference, and that was this. Uh, Sorry, I don't know uh, the correct word in English. Uh, this part uh, is way too long and it didn't fit onto the printing bed, so I had to split it in two. And that was actually glued together. Now you can see here uh, I added uh, the rope so that it covers the uh, glued area. And the other thing that was glued is this uh, this area, uh, this uh, basically slider, and it's because, as you may remember from the uh, 3D data, it has uh, this, um, well, I don't really know the term. Um, it wasn't uh, possible to actually print it in one print, uh, so I had to split it in two and then glue them together. Uh, and the last thing, uh, this column actually, uh, it was uh, kind of loose, so I had to add the glue just uh, for the reason for it not to come out. But other than that, there is no glue at all. Uh, strangely enough, the other column fits extremely p uh, perfectly and uh, holds really well. Now, um, as I said, everything is PLA, and um, I didn't even apply any color or anything like that, and it fits, uh, I think, very well. It looks, at least I like it, uh, and I think that uh, that's the more, most important. Now, uh, that's uh, certainly not the end of the project because I planned another thing, which is the base for the trebuchet uh, that would uh, not only hold it, but uh, that would also allow a rotation. Because now, as you can see, you have to manually basically take the entire thing and rotate it. 
So uh, I actually plan to make a sort of pedestal, I guess, uh, in which uh, you would insert the entire trebuchet and it would have a gearing system uh, in which you can actually rotate the entire thing so you can actually aim. Um, okay, so that's for the plants. Um, and now, uh, before we wrap it up, uh, the only thing that I would mention is that, uh, well, the ropes here, they aren't really nicely done, I know. Uh, bear in mind that I did anything like that uh, for the first time, so so yes, it's not the best, uh, but I don't think it's that bad, so uh, it's still usable, I guess. Anyway, uh, that would be probably all. And um, I will uh, continue in this project, as I said, so um, we can see each other in the next video. So thank you and have a very, very nice day.